hey, it's me, Goten. You know, that kid who has literally done nothing in Dragon Ball Super, even though I'm right there in the intro. And even in the current arc, I'm right there on the title card. Why haven't I done anything important yet? Trunks has, the Pilaf gang have. Why even bother putting me there if I'm not going to do anything? <sighs> God damn it, Toriyama. <clears throat> Anyways, I am going to be a playable character in the upcoming Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, which comes out in just a little over one week's time. So, to prepare for it, Natcraft.derp will be hosting yet another Dragon Ball week. Every day until the release of Xenoverse 2, there will be a new video uploaded to his channel. Unlike last time, where he only did three specific battles in many different significant Dragon Ball games to prepare for Xenoverse 1, this time he'll be covering much more of the Dragon Ball story, including events from Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and maybe even Dragon Ball Super. Who knows? But not GT. Because fuck that. They did less with me than even Super has so far. And when they did do something, holy shit, it was bad. So on day one, he'll be playing through Dragon Ball Advanced Adventure on the Game Boy Advance, covering my dad's adventures until he got beaten up by some old dude with a beard. What a loser, am I right? What? Then, on day two, he'll be playing Dragon Ball Revenge of King Piccolo on the Wii, covering my dad's fights against Colonel Silver, General White, and General Blue of the Red Ribbon Army. Though, I don't know who those people are, because I'm just a stupid kid. On day three, he'll be returning to a game that he played in the first Dragon Ball week, Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3. Hey, I'm in that game! There, he'll be covering the rest of my dad's adventures as a kid. On day four, he'll play a game that was intended for the first Dragon Ball week, but never made the cut, Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 2 covering everything from Mr. Piccolo killing my dad and Uncle Raditz, to my dad getting the crap beaten out of him by Trunks' dad. What a loser, am I right? Also, I'm in that game too. Then, on day 5, he'll finally get to the game that started the concept of Dragon Ball Week in the first place, Dragon Ball Xenoverse, where he'll be doing those original three battles that he did in every game last time with my dad against 100% Frieza, Final Form Cell, and Kid Buu. Then, on day 6, it's a surprise! He could be playing more Xenoverse, or possibly another game entirely, but it's probably more Xenoverse, because come on, it's like the best one, and I'm in it. Finally, on day 7, he'll be revising his top 10 Dragon Ball games list and making it a top 15, all leading up to Matt Crafley's Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 at the end of the week. And don't worry, he has many more things planned for the near future. After all, Pokemon is just around the corner. And none of those plans have anything to do with me, so, just like in Dragon Ball Super, I'm gonna continue to sit here and do nothing. Dragon Ball Week 2 starts tomorrow. I'm Sun Goten, and I'll see you guys... probably never. Later. Oh, by the way, am I the only one who thinks that Future Mai makes absolutely no sense? I mean, there's no way that the Pilaf gang still made the youth wish in Future Trunks' timeline before Mr. Piccolo was killed by the androids. That's just stupid.